Hatred was flowing through my veins on a verge of going insane. I almost made a sign this in Little Wayne. Stopping y'all. Let me see y'all with another one. Eminem. Fuck it to my self recovery. Look, the reason why I'm doing this one is because uh somebody commented on one of my uh somebody comment on the seduction video, which I said is a little Wayne this Talk about Lil Wayne in that song. And he was like, yo, I agree with your concept, but the song talking to myself kind of makes me contra like it makes me doubt. So I was like, all right. I go check the song out but this is me checking the damn song out because no matter what he says in the damn song deduction off this damn album he's talking about Lil Wayne like he's he's legitly talking about Lil Wayne in that damn song shout out to everybody that's been supporting my channel man y'all keep doing that work I'm gonna keep bringing this work let's get it before I start this song man I just want to thank everybody for being so patient and bearing with me over these last couple of years while I figure this shit out. Same nigga from um Don't Die Alone song. Kobe. I got another nigga voice. That nigga can sing. I like his voice. The same dude, alright. Like I like his voice. He can like he can really sing. I like it. <laughs> I don't know he's gonna start damn he ain't never did it like that wait a whole minute just to start rapping <sighs> talking to myself gonna find out why he, why it doesn't know why you don't think that's a little ain't this deduction so we're gonna find out ah uh, let's hear this I'm excited I went away, I guess, and opened up some lanes. But there was no one who even knew I was going through, growing pains. Hate it was flowing through my veins. On the verge of going insane, I almost made a song dissing Lil Wayne. It's like I was jealous of him because of the attention he was getting. I felt horrible about myself. He was spitting, and I wasn't. Anyone who was buzzing back then could have got it. Almost went at Kanye, too. Got it, feels like I'm going psychotic. Thank God that I didn't do it. I'd have had my ass handed to me, and I knew it. Wait a minute. Hatred was hatred was flowing through and the words he's choosing is you gotta pay attention to the words he's choosing. Hatred was flowing through my veins on a verge of going insane. I almost made a song dissing little Wayne. Then he said it was like he was jealous. This is why you said that this I since I did a seduction reaction, you said this is why you disagree with um that seduction I've been a little way in this. His word choice, hatred was flowing through my veins on the verge of going insane. I almost made a song this in Lil Wayne. He's talking about that time period of when he made the song. That's why he's that's why he does listen. Oh my, this is dope. That's why he said. Hatred, hatred. So he's making a song out of pure hatred and jealousy. The seduction song, when he's talking about Lil Wayne, that song wasn't made out of jealousy. It was, it was talking about stuff that Lil Wayne was talking about, and he just brought it. He just made a song out of it. This, but this, 
Oh, I gotta let this whole verse say that's dope as hell. Hey, that I don't know why the line stick with me. Hatred was flowing through my veins on a verge of going insane. I almost made a side this in Little Wayne. That shit dope. Up some lanes, but there was I went away. I guess it opened up some lanes. On the verge of going insane, I almost made a song as in Lil Wayne. It's like I was jealous of him because of the attention he was getting. I felt horrible about myself. He was spitting and I wasn't. Anyone who was buzzing back then could have got it. Almost went at Kanye too. Got it, feels like I'm going psychotic. Thank God that I didn't do it. I'd have had my ass handed to me. And I knew it, but proof isn't here to see me through it. I'm in the booth, popping another pill. Trying to talk myself into it, are you stupid? You will start dissing people for no reason. Especially when you can't even write a decent post. You're slowly dying, you're denying your health is declining with your self-esteem. You're crying out for help. I'm even more convinced that seduction is the Lil Wayne diss. Like this just sums it up. So he's talking about the period of when he when Lil Wayne was hot. You know, mixtape weeds and all that stuff. He's getting all his attention. He's like, I'm better feeling to himself. I'm better than him. And then Kanye was getting attention. I'm better than him. So that's why he mentioned Wayne first. Cause he knew it to grab your attention, to pay attention to every word. Then he said, then he just threw that sidebar in that. Yeah, I almost went at Kanye too. So you hear all that, the, the, the word play, the position of the words is so fucking dope. It's like, it's genius. Lil Wayne was buzzing. That's why he said Lil Wayne was buzzing. So he, t <laughs> I'm even more convinced seduction to talk about Lil Wayne. So he was talking about making the song from the hater standpoint. That's why you mentioned Kanye West. He wasn't like, the seduction song was not from my hater standpoint. I know I said it earlier, but it just even more convincing. This is dope. So he can't even write a decent punchline. So you know, if he would have said something back then, he was gonna sound like a hater. It would have sound stupid, and then that would have been that would have been that would have been the moment. Eminem would have been irrelevant if he would have dissed him for no damn. That that would have been it, and he knew it. That's so dope. And I could see him sitting in the damn booth with the pills in his hand. Popping on the pill, like, fuck this nigga, I'ma do it. Well, he didn't say nigga, because you know him. But he's fuck it. I'm saying it for him. Fuck this nigga, I'ma do it. Didn't do it. That was the best, one of the best moves of his career, not doing it. That would have, that would have looked weird. He would have looked like a straight hater. Like, straight up. There's no debating. He would have like a straight hater if he would have came out with him and dissed him for no damn reason, because he buzzed. Strictly because of the reason, because he's buzzing. That's a bit of pill to swallow. All I know is I'm wallowing, self loathing and hollow. Bottoms up on the pill bottle. Maybe I hit my bottom tomorrow. My soul echoes in this hall, though. But I must be talking to the wall, though. I don't see nobody else. I guess I keep talking to myself. But all these other rappers suck is all that I know. I've turned into a hater. I put up a false bravado. But Marshall is not an egomaniac. Is not his motto. He's not a desperado. He's desperate. It's thought to bottle inside him. One foot on the brake, one on the throttle. Falling asleep with writer's block in the parking lot of McDonald's. But instead of feeling sorry for yourself, do something about it. Admit you got a problem. Your brain is clouded. You're padded long enough. It isn't them. It's you, you fucking baby. We're worried about what they do and do shady. I'm fucking going crazy. Some songs you just have to let it play, like especially songs like this. This is him telling the story. Like I, I knew he's gonna tell the story when he, the way he set it up. On the verge of hatred was flowing through my veins. On the verge of going insane, I once made a song dissing Little Wayne. Even the damn word <sighs> syllables, insane veins. Wayne, oh my, he could have just said I almost made a song dissing Little Wayne and then to whatever. But he was like hatred, like he's describing everything. That was the first verse. I'm still stuck on that first verse because that shit is dope. That shit is real dope. But the second verse, he started talking more about it. I said he had sound like a hater and came to the same conclusion. He was going to sound like a hater just talking about these niggas for no damn reason. So, but it's like, like, 
M M is a is a true lover of hip hop. Like for real. You can tell you can tell that like from jump, you can tell that from jump. Like if you're gonna beef with somebody, it's gonna be it's gonna be on like it's not gonna be on some hairish shit. It's gonna be like, all right, you said something about me, I'm gonna say something about you, just just how it is. Sometimes you just wanna put your lyricism up against the next best artist. Some that's why they do features. All right, I'm finna go on a song with you. We finna see who has the best verse. And more times than not, this nigga has the best verse. Like, if you know you're about to get on the song with this nigga, you have to bring it. Uh, you just have to. There's no question about it. Because you know he's going to bring it. And what's even worse is you hear about these niggas rewriting their verse. And he keeps the same fucking verse. That would irritate the hell out of me. So if I got to rewrite mine, I will make it a point to make him rewrite his. Only uh, person I know that made him rewrite his verse. Buster Ron, calm down. Well, he didn't really rewrite it. He just added more to it. So, Buster Ron. All right, you want to send me something? Buster sent him something. Oh, you want to keep it going? It ain't coming out yet. I'm finna send you something else. So, respects to Buster. And Buster always been dope. Like, I, I'm a huge Buster Ron fan. But he broke it down. He broke this shit down. I don't even have to break none of that down. Just, just, just reassures me. Seduction. It's a little Wayne. This. Just listen to the name of the song. Talking to myself. So this is everything he's going on in his head. This is this is not, this is what the moment he thought about dissing these rappers, and it's not just Lil Wayne. It's whoever was buzzing. That's why he said whoever was buzzing back then could have got it. Back then. Before he started third verse, let me say this. This nigga, I heard, like I, I said it, and I don't remember what video I said it in, but I, I'm going to say it again. I heard the version of Royce and M. Brennigage. I actually kind of like that version a little better. The beat is a little different and all that stuff. I like that one better. The nigga M. used the same verse that he said with the word. Didn't change shit. That means Jay heard the song and still did his verse, and M. still outshined him. That shit speaks volumes, man. There's no way in hell you can do a song with somebody and I come and do my verse new and we change the beat and you not change not one single word. That would piss me off. So why in the world do I feel so alone? Nobody but me. I'm on my own. Is there anyone out there who feels the way I feel that there is a let me in? So I so pat myself on the ground and fucking swim for a drown. Hit my bottom so hard I pounce twice. Suffice this time around is different. The last two albums didn't count. Encore, I was on drugs, relapse, I was flushing them out. I've come to make it up to you. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, I'm, I'm gonna rewind this and let it play the whole entirety. I, I, I had to stop it right there. First of all, nigga, relapse is dope. Don't say the album didn't count. Relapse, oh, relapse is fucking dope. Talking about all them damn serial killers, man. If you haven't seen none of my relapse uh, reaction videos, go check it out. Relapse is a dope ass album. You didn't put that damn seed in people's hair. That's why everybody's talking about relapse. Encore, I was on drugs. We last I was flushing them out. Yes, you was flushing them out, but the skill was still there. It, it, it was really good till you get your flow back. We left as a dope ass album. I would have jumped through the damn t uh, computer screen and slapped the shit out you for saying that, bro. Don't play with me like that, nigga. It's crazy. So why in the world do I feel so alone? Nobody but me. I'm on my own. Is there anyone out there who feels the way I feel that there is a let me in? So I want to pat myself on the ground and fucking swim for a drown. Hit my bottom so hard I bounce twice. Suffice this time around, it's different. The last two albums didn't count. Encore, I was on drugs. Relapse, I was flushing them out. I've come to make it up to you now, no more fucking around. I got something to prove to fans because I feel like I let them down. So please accept my apology. I finally feel like I'm back to normal. I feel like me again. Let me formally reintroduce myself to you for those of you who don't know. The new me's back to the old me and hold me out on show no. Sons are slowing up, blowing up, blowing up all over. My life is no longer a movie, but the show ain't over, homos. I'm back with a vengeance, homie. Weezy, keep your head up. T.I., keep your head up. Kanye, keep your head up. Don't let up.
just keep slaying them Rest in peace to DJM Cause I know what it's like I struggle with this shit every single day in them Oh, this nigga. See? Kanye, keep your head up. We did keep your head up to you. I keep whoever was buzzing back then, he was going to go at. Ah, I said this through the whole video. Just reassure me. Seduction is a damn distilling. If you haven't checked out my reaction to that, go check it out. <sighs> I'm let this song play. This song is dope. I can put this in rotation because he's talking from his mindset. This is where he at. This is where he was at at that time frame. So while these niggas is buzzing, he's sitting in the studio. I'm about to diss the shit out of him. And then he can't even write a decent punchline. So he was like, probably the punchline probably would have been decent, but it probably went up to his standard. So he was like, I can't, I, I can't. I need to, I, I, like, writer's block. I, I'm, I'm just stuck. And I guarantee you, because when he when he writes a punchline, it's never just one damn line. He writes a punchline. The punchline, let's say let's say this whole thing is this whole my help my whole hand as a piece of paper. The punchline doesn't just be this one line. The punchline, all right, he'll say one line. That's the jab. Twenty six lines later, that's the punch. Everything in between, him fucking you up. About to fuck you up. And then another light jab. And then 30 lines later this time. It's him fucking you up. Sizing you up. If you want to say fuck you up, sizing you up. It's like intim in mental intimidation. I'm finna, finna hit you with this haymaker. And then the end of the song. KO. That's how he writes. I've seen his damn writing on a piece of paper. He doesn't even write normal. He writes this shit here, and he writes this shit here, and then this shit here, and then this here, this here, and then this to connect with something from two pages ago that you don't even see, and then that from two pages ago connect with something a week ago that he wrote. Like, nigga, leave this man alone. the mind that's that's just I, I speak up on my time point of what everything was going on that's why i say anybody else i thought about going that it was never done personal some shit he was going through right there he's over it so when this album came out he was already over it that's why seduction is an address to like all right nigga i got something for you this is dope i'm glad that uh person pointed that out in the comments because i probably would have waited way longer to do this damn song <laughs> You dope for that one, man. Alice.